Hello you guys, so the Nihal Sunin has a great start in FIDE World Cup 2023. He has beaten strong players like batsman Axel of Paraguay and Daniel Bodman on Romania in round 2 and round 3 respectively. And now he was up against two-time world championship challenger Ayan Nepomniachi in round 4. And he did great, both of the classical games were drawn and this game is actually a first rapid tiebreak. So let's just straightly dive into this brilliant game. So Nepomniachi has a wide pieces and he opens the game with e4. We have c5 assistant defense, knight f3 and d6 here. Now in the upper level there are many famous ways to go about this position here. You can have a knight of attack with d4, knight f6 and a6 here. And you can even go for the d4 and g6 which is actually a dragon variation. But here Nepomniachi goes for an anti-Sicilian approach with bishop to b5 check which is actually a canal attack. Now here black has tried almost everything here. Black has tried knight to c6 here, bishop to d7 here, knight to d7 here, not queen to d7 because it will blunder a queen here. And here Nehal Sarin has played knight to d7 which is actually a defensive approach but a solid one. And now we have a4 here and a4 is actually a multi-purpose move. First it supports the bishop here and secondly in the near future if position allows. Blacks want to play a6 and b5 here to attack on the queen side here. But this a4 move just shuts it all here. So now we have knight to f6 here attacking the e4 pawn and knight to c3 defending it. And now we have a6. Bishop goes to e2 here and now we have g6 here making a room for the sniper and now we have castles here and bishop to g7 and now we have d4 c takes d4 and knight takes d4 and Nehal plays b6 to develop and other bishop via bishop to b7 here and now we have a tickle by Nepomniachi knight to c6 and now we have queen to c7 and knight to b4 here and Nihal sticks with his plan and plays bishop to b7 here. And now we have knight to d5 attacking the queen here. And queen goes to d8 here. And now this e4 pawn is actually attacked by a knight here. So f3 to defend it. And now we have castles here and knight takes and knight takes. So Nepomniachi develops his bishop via bishop to e3 here. And now we have queen to c7 connecting the rooks here. And now we have a very good move by Nepo c4 here so making it hard for Nihal to push d5 or b5 breakthrough here. So now we have e6 here so in the near future we can have a d5 for a good attack here. So now we have rook to c1 and now we have rook f2 d8 here. Now we have knight to d3 so trying to find a good place for the knight to have a more scope here. So now we have knight to d7 so Nihal is doing the same here and now we have queen to b3 so having an eye on this b6 pawn here and here Nihal plays a very good move knight to c5 here and here queen goes to a3 here and now there is a clear threat of playing b4 here so Nihal shared the plan by playing a5 here and now we have knight to f2 so Napo is trying to find a better place for the knight here and now we have queen to e7 and now we have rook f2 d1 here and now a very good move by Nihal bishop to c7 gluing more pieces to a4 pawn here so here Napo plays p3 here so now there is near to no play on the queen side so Nihal launches an attack on the king side via f5 and now we have bishop to d3 here and now we have a very good move by Nihal bishop to e5 yes white can play f4 here but now after f4 these pawns are actually very weak pawn here so here Napo Niachi plays queen to a2 here and now we have again a very good move by Nihal, queen to h4 here and here we have g3 here. And here Nihal sacrifices bishop for the two pawns via bishop takes g3, pawn takes and queen takes g3 and here Nihal is completely winning here. And now king goes to f1 here because if you go to h1 here you will lose a bishop via check here so king to f1 and now Nihal opens the line via f takes e4 and now we have bishop takes c5 and now we have e takes d3 and now we have bishop takes b6 and here a normal human being will play like rook to f8 here to launch an attack on the king side but not Dihal Seren. Here he sacrificed a rook by playing rook a to b8 here and actually this rook is actually untouchable because if you just try to take here you are just losing here. Like if you just play bishop takes d8 here you are losing after 
bishop takes f3 here because if you now just try to save your bishop via bishop to c7 here you are just getting checkmated after d2 because if you just try to take with the queen or rook doesn't matter just queen to d2 check king e1 and queen to g1 is a checkmate here this is a forced checkmate so napomni actually saw it in place bishop to e3 here and yes he saw it and now we have rook to f8 here and now we have rook takes d3 here and here nihal sarin has to play bishop takes f3 to have a winning advantage here but he blunders his advantage in place rook takes f3 here and now it is actually no winning nor losing for nihal here and now we have queen to e2 here and now we have rook b to f8 here and now king unpins from the rook here via king to e1 here and now we have h5 so nihal is trying to promote the pawn to on the king side here so now we have bishop to b6 so attacking the a5 pawn here and now we have rook takes d3 here and now we have queen takes d3 and now we have queen to g1 check here and here napom niachi offer the queen trade via queen to f1 and now we have queen to g5 and now we have rook to c3 here and now we have h4 so nihal is trying to push the pawn on the king side and now we have bishop to e3 here and here nihal pins the bishop via queen to e5 here and now we have king to d2 and now we have rook to f3 and now we have queen to d3 and now we have queen to g3 so now we have c6 here and after c6 the magic starting to happen for the nihal so we have rook takes f2 bishop takes f2 and queen takes f2 and here you can't just trade the queen here because you will be losing so we have a very big blunder king to c1 here here you must play king to d1 here but he plays king to c1 and now you are losing your queen or rook by a force and here a winning move is queen to e8 check now if you try to block it with queen you will lose a rook here and secondly if you try to play like king to b2 or king to c1 doesn't matter if you play king to c2 here you will lose a queen via bishop to e4 here so you have to play king to b2 here but no it doesn't it doesn't save a queen here here bishop to e4 just traps the queen because if you move it anywhere queen to b1 is actually a checkmate because this will be a checkmate but nihal blunders big and plays queen to f4 check and now king goes to b2 but now this time bishop to e4 doesn't work because you no longer have a checkmate here so now we have queen takes d6 here and now we have queen to f2 check now we have queen to a3 here now we have queen to e1 so he is trying to deliver a checkmate here but here napomniachi plays it very brilliantly queen takes e6 check king to s7 queen to f7 check king to h8 queen to f6 check king to s7 and now a very good move rook to c4 here so now this check and this check is covered by a rook and the queen here so there is no play here and here game moves on for the few more moves h3 queen to e5 and now this bishop is gone here so now we have king to queen to g1 here and nihal resigned so this was a game if you like the video like and subscribe the channel stay tuned for the more updates